What was the toughest quarterback to sack? Um, I'm going to give you two answers to that. All right. I think one surprising answer, I think, well, it might be two surprising, but I think one, Tom Brady wasn't easy. Um, and, and the reason being is because of how, from a system standpoint, he they was getting rid of the ball under two seconds, period. They they knew the strength of our defense. They knew what was going on. So I said, look, if this, I don't care if you open or not, receiver, this ball is coming out. Done. You know, so I think when you're playing against a guy like that, you better have your best move. And even if you have your best move dialed up and you win on your best move, you still may not get there. And that becomes very frustrating as a rusher because you don't, you understand is that this ball will not be on this man's hand because he does not want to get sacked. Um, I think he's probably, you know, one of the most underrated from that standpoint. People don't talk about it enough. And I think Steve McNair. Steve Air McNair. McNair. <laughs> Air McNair. He was, he was country strong. And I would come around that corner and I would hit him. And I swear he, I felt like he hit me back. I mean, he is like hitting a wall. All right. And, 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 and the thing is about him is he was also mobile. So he can also just be elusive, make you miss. So when you're trying to go and, and try to tackle that quarterback, you got to figure out what you're going to do because you can go ahead and try to hit him as hard as you possibly can, but he can make you miss. So if you then say, okay, you know what? Let me not go as hard as I can and just try to wrap him up. Then he's going to throw you off. Um, I think Steve is is a beast, man. Is there any quarterback that you would have loved to sack that you just you look back and you say, man, I wish I could get my motherfucking hands on him and you just couldn't? <laughs> oh man, you know what? I wanted to I wanted as Brett Favre was one. Um, I only played him once. Uh he was with the Vikings at the time. And uh I just never got an opportunity to get him. You know, he was just one guy on that list where I'm like, you know, it'd be good to add Brett Favre to the list of quarterbacks that I've gotten. And uh, I think I gave him a knee or something like that when I ran by him. <laughs> I can't even remember. It was some type of glancing blow. Uh, but he was another guy who ain't want to get sacked. But that, you know how it is. You start getting older, you don't want to get touched. You don't want your body to get hurt, period. You want to get on to the next. So as soon as I played him, that ball was gone, man. One and a half seconds. When you were off the Colts, you didn't want to sack Peyton? I mean, that's a constant. Yeah. Uh, obviously, I mean, that is, you, you know, look, when you're in practice, you get yelled at and screamed at if you're in five, within five yards of a man. You know, Bob and Matthews, you know, he sent me a picture, I guess, when he played against them when he was at Denver. And he, I mean, it's the greatest picture in the world. Peyton getting killed by Marvin. I mean, by, by, by Robert. And his face is all twisted up. And, <laughs> and, and it, it was awesome. But, you know, that's 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 kind of like one of those things where, you know, we love you, Peyton, but, you know, yeah. never got an opportunity to hit you. But Robert finally did. But it is what it is. Uh, well, speaking of Peyton, I heard he used to DJ on the Colts team playing after wins. Is that true? Playing what? Country music? That's what I was going to ask. What, what type Man, of music was listen, he playing? <laughs> I'll be honest with you. If he was DJing, I ain't hear it. <laughs> he probably, like, I brought my headphones in. Maybe he was in the front of the plane. I didn't. Hear, I didn't hear the. I didn't hear the music. I didn't hear. It. So bringing up Tom Brady again, you faced Tom Brady numerous times over your career in the NFL, but you also yeah. played him in 1998 when Syracuse played Michigan. Let's watch that. Here's the fourth down again. As I said, trailing by 24, he needs more than a field goal. Syracuse has answered everything so far defensively. They've got it. Brady down. Almost beating the snap count, Dwight Freeney from Bloomfield, Connecticut, a blue chip recruit, a freshman, played four years of basketball, baseball, also lettered in soccer. You're looking at one of the fine ones. And again, there's Bullock in there. They're crowding the middle of the line against Michigan. Nash, number 10, is in there as well. And Freeney comes free and makes the big play. Be a penalty right now. 
That would be a penalty right now, by the way. Yeah. <laughs> either yeah, that doesn't work here now, huh? Hey, Dwight, either y'all were good or Michigan was sorry as hell. It was 24 man, nothing, we man. Good. Dude, man we, I, man, we put that hammer. We put that hammer on those boys, man. I don't know what got into it. I mean, we actually were good that year, though. Yeah, no, we, Syracuse we all, used to yeah, be good. We were good that year. Do you remember yeah. that taco, though? Was it an, uh, an important taco to you at all? Uh, absolutely. That was, I think that actually might have been my first play as a college player, period. I was Ooh. a freshman. I was a true freshman. So that was, it's kind of crazy how, you know, everything kind of comes full circle. My first play really ever, you know, in college as a freshman was against Tom Brady, who he wasn't even a starter of that game. He, they brought him off the bench to put him in the game. Oh wow! Right. And now, fast forward years, 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 years later, I'm still playing against the dude. Yeah, I was gonna ask, what was it like to have played against them both in the college at NFL? Like you, obvious. Well, maybe you did, but the progression from being Tom Brady to the goat. Like, how how did you see that? Well, look, I didn't care about him in college. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I was I was a I was a freshman. I didn't know nothing about Tom Brady, and Tom Brady wasn't a great player in college either. Mm-hmm. All right. I think Tom, I think Tom just developed over the years, um, ended up staying in the same system for a long time mm-hmm. and flourished within that system. All right. And when you can stay in the same system, doing the same things, it became just like, you know, tying your shoelaces, mm-hmm. you know, and that's how Tom got so good over the years. You know, he wasn't a beast when he came out in the rookie as a rookie. They protect them. He ran the ball. They did the things. Now, as his career, maybe eight years in, nine years in, they gave him, you know, free reign to do whatever he needs to do um, that he needed to do within the system that he was in. But he was, you know, he was a guy that obviously throughout the years just kept getting better and better until he is in, in the conversation of being one of the best quarterbacks that ever played. We absolutely hope you enjoyed this video. If you want more from us, Hit that subscribe button for all videos, full episodes, and exclusive content from the show. And don't forget to find all facts, no breaks, on Apple, Spotify, or wherever you get your podcasts.